I've been asked several times over the last couple of years since I've been on YouTube, what about ducks? What's up guys, it's Jason over here at Cock Hill Farm and the Cock Hill Farm family today. We're talking about ducks. Five things that I think you need to know before you get ducks. One thing about ducks that really took me surprise is, is how messy they are. They are extremely messy. If there's water around, these guys are gonna make a huge mess. They gotta mix their feed and water together to be able to eat it. They're, when you first get them for the first few days, everything's fine. But come day four or five, it's on like Donkey Kong. These son of a guns are messy. You're gonna have to clean that brooder out every day, if not more than that. The waters are going to be cleaned out because they're going to mix that food with that water and it's just going to create a huge mess. We even tried making the little waters out of milk jugs and cutting a hole in it where their head can get in there. It still, it helps a little bit, but not much. These suckers are still messy. Another way that they're messy is they poop a lot and it's not normal chicken poop. It's like projectile poop and it's a lot of it because they're constantly mixing that food and water together so there's a lot of water in their digestive system way more than a chicken so if you're getting ducks be prepared for the mess <laughs> since they are messy that only means one thing it's gonna create a smell main thing that creates the smell is is when they f mix that feed and water together wet chicken feed duck feed or whatever you want to call it it stinks and ducks love to mix that feed and water together and then when that whole area gets wet wherever they are if it's on the ground or if it's in a brooder wherever it's gonna stink ducks are very very smelly because of the simple fact of how they're so messy with all that water they have so be prepared for that smell if you clean it all the time it will help but it's still going to be smelly one thing that i really wasn't prepared for and i really noticed it a lot when i when i cause now i make youtube videos is how loud they are <laughs> Super vocal. They are really, really loud. Ducks are big routine people. They people. Ducks are a big routine animal. They love the same routine over and over and over again. So if that routine is broken any kind of way, it just drives them nuts and they're gonna let you know it. But I was shocked how loud they are. When I'm making videos, a lot of times I have to go to a different location because the ducks are just really really loud now the exception to the rule are muscovies a muscovy is a duck but it's almost not like a duck it doesn't have a loud it doesn't have a call at all it's pretty much silent uh, when our females are broody they will make a little squeak noise they go beep beep but for the most part the call ducks don't make any noise um, they got the, the knots on their head like a turkey they're a lot like a mixture between a, a goose and a duck. So, Muscovies are different. Another thing about a Muscovy that's different than a normal duck, usually ducks stay in groups. Um, they're like flocks. They kind of remind me of sheep. Look here. The geese are mixed in there with them, but they're all in groups. The Muscovies do not do that. Muscovies are super independent. They will just do whatever they want. Now the mama and the babies, of course, stay tight knit. But other than that, I mean, look, there's a, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a Muscovy walking over there by itself. 
There's a Muscovy right here walking by itself. Those are all baby Muscovies. So Muscovies are very independent. Totally different than your normal domesticated duck like a Peking or Ruin. Another thing that's different about ducks, if you've had chickens and are used to chickens, and so you know that that chicken is gonna lay in that nesting box every day. Ducks don't do that. Ducks practically will lay wherever they want to. Uh, typically it's gonna be on the ground. They usually do not get in nesting boxes. We even try putting them down low. Every now and then they will. An exception to the rule has been we've had Muscovies get in nesting boxes, but generally ducks, ducks don't. It's gonna be an Easter egg hunt, you know, looking for duck eggs. Unless you had them pinned up and kept them in a coop all the time, you may have a better chance of finding their eggs, but it's definitely not like chickens. <laughs> Ducks eat a lot of feed, more than chickens. I was really shocked by how much ducks eat. And not only do they eat a lot, they waste a lot of food uh, because they're gonna get that food, they're gonna get that food and water mixed, so that feeder's gonna be saturated and it's gonna get clumped up and sour and it's gonna start stinking, and you're gonna have to dump and get rid of it, fill it back up. So ducks not only eat a lot, they're gonna waste a lot of feed, just so just, we do we do enjoy the ducks uh, you can hear them <laughs> that's what I'm talking about we do enjoy the ducks though for the most part and my daughter is obsessed with ducks we let ours go in free range so they're great at eating bugs they do lay eggs and the eggs are great for bacon ducks are super hardy and they're super cute so I wasn't making this video to discourage anyone from getting ducks. I was just making the video to let you know to be prepared for some things that kind of took us by surprise and maybe be helpful. Hey guys, I want to let you know that this video was supported by and sponsored by The Dollar Shave Club. When everybody thinks about The Dollar Shave Club, they're probably thinking about shaving. But I'm here to tell you, they're much more than that. They have all your essential grooming needs, and it's all delivered right there to your front door. And I'm talking about shampoos, hair gels, toothbrushes, toothpaste, and my favorite, the Dr. Carver's Shave Butter. Listen, I love of that stuff and we have peach's favorite the one wipe charlie butt wipes she loves these things they make her so fresh and so clean ain't all right pete and then tip's favorite right now which is the amber lavender body wash tip loves using this stuff because the ladies love it makes him smell so good right now the dollar shave club is offering a daily starter essential kit that's three trial versions of their most popular product their executive razor which is awesome a full cassette of replacement cartridges for that razor all for just five dollars and if you're interested in that check out the link i provided down below in the description and in the comments after that first box you can get set up on their monthly service where they deliver replacement cartridges for that awesome razor so go check it out and just remember when you support and buy from them they can turn around and support our channel thanks guys hey guys thanks for watching the video today hey if you missed my video about the five tips that you should know about chickens check out that video right over here if you're new to the channel like what you see hit the subscribe button right down below and if you're interested in any cock kill farm gear shirts check out this link right over here y'all be good